make some tiles. You start with your bag of clay. Grab a piece off the top. And use, use a board that is either covered with canvas or just a plain wooden board works really well. Take your clay and pound it down. Now an easy way to start tiles is to use a couple sticks slightly thicker than you want for your tile. You put them on either side of your slab, uh, your clay. Hold the wire really taut against the top of the sticks and pull it through. One. I'm going to do several so I have several to work on tomorrow. Two. extra clay I'm just going to put right back into the bag. Okay, put your sticks aside. Now this isn't quite six by six. That's the size tile I want to, want to eventually end up with. So I'm going to stretch it just a little bit first and roll it in opposite directions and on both sides. It's very important to roll it on both sides because that compresses it on both sides and helps keep it from warping. Now if you're making a lot of these, you can make a square template out of some cardboard. I'm just making a few, so this will be just fine. The best way to cut it is not with a needle tool, but with a fettling knife. You get a nice clean cut that way. Put this to six and line up this outside edge. If your clay's a little stiff, you can always take several passes before you cut through. There's six, and there. Remember, they don't have to be exactly six inches, and they don't have to be square. Now, these are one-of-a-kind pieces, so you could certainly do different shapes. I'm just going to stretch this one a little bit to begin with. So I need to get this tile to leather hard, so I'm going to put it on a board. And if I can come back, if I can watch it, just put it on the board and leave it. After it firms up a bit, it's going to start warping up a little bit. Turn it over and tap it down again. The wood will suck the water out of one side, the air will draw the water out of the other side. I'll clean up these edges tomorrow. Once you have them made, Ball up that clay right away so it doesn't have a chance to dry out. I'll wrap it up. some plastic. Doesn't matter what kind of plastic. I like the thin plastic because it doesn't damage surfaces as much as a heavy, heavy plastic. This is just a piece of cleaner's bag. Now you cover it as tightly as tighter, the longer you're going to be gone. So I'm just going to wrap these up like this. 
and the water will be sucked out of the bottom and they won't dry as fast on the top. That way they'll stay flat. Okay, next step will be to carve. Thank you.